Right now, this is a quick uh, demonstration of how we want to use oxalic acid to treat for Varroa in our Newton Abbott branch. What we use um, is this formulation which comes from Italy basically. It's a 6% solution of oxalic acid and uh, well the last two years it's been pretty good. The problem is that at 6% it's a little bit strong really for our climate. Um, it's designed for the Mediterranean climate so we're going to actually dilute it for this year and we're diluting it down to about four and a half percent and uh, we have them in these jars okay you can see there it says four and a half percent at uh, in about a thirty percent uh, sucrose solution now that's what we're going to use now in fact okay so um, what we're going to have to do is to set up a sort of a mop method of applying it because of course You've only got to do this once a year and you've got to do it right in the middle of winter when there's no brood in the hive and all the mites are on the backs of the bees. And the best time for doing that in our climate is something like oh, the last week of December, first couple of weeks in January. All right, so this is in January. It's a grey, miserable day in November, but it's a bit too early to do it on real bees. So you'll just have to pretend this is a, the real thing. Now what you need are um, a torch. I'll explain that in a minute. You need a syringe to apply it with, 50 mil syringe, and uh, some water just to be handy. Because you've got to remember that oxalic acid is potentially poisonous. It's not dangerous in terms of being corrosive very much, although it will make a mess of your clothes a bit. But it is definitely poisonous, so we want to handle it with a lot of care. And the other thing you've got to have, pretty essential to my mind, are a pair of gloves just in case you do get a spillage on your skin because they do say that the oxalic acid is actually absorbed through the skin. So I think I'm just about protected now from the oxalic acid, not from the bees. The bees hopefully will all be tightly clustered deep inside here. Uh, if it's a warmish day, well they might be running around a bit and so have a veil with you and if they get a bit skitty, which they shouldn't do, just uh, put your veil up. But um, we haven't got any bees in here, so I'm all right. So very, very gently, because you don't want to disturb them, we'll take the roof off very, very gently. The crown board will be well stuck down, so go round it very, very carefully, cracking the propolis that they've used to seal it down. Do it very gently, go all the way around. You can see this is loose, because it's not real, of course, okay? And then when you've loosened it, very carefully open it and it's best to do it away from you before you look at the bees like that very gently look in and you can see if they're running about on the top they shouldn't fly up at you but these in this particular case of course are well down deep inside the hive clustered tightly now you need to find out just how many seams of bees there are hence the torch so we'll look down very carefully to see just where the bees are. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there they are. Seven seams of bees here. Now you have to apply this solution at seven mil to a seam of bees. So seven times five, that's 35 mil. So I've got to get up here, 35 mil of uh, um, solution. Uh, You'll see this 50 mil syringe, there's a 35 mil mark. So I put a little bit of um, tubing on the end of here, which makes it easier to apply and suck up. So I'll take it up, get rid of the bubble, make sure that's squirted out, bring it up, 35, 30, 35, there we go. And very, very gently put it on top of the bees, very slow, down onto the bees, like that. You'll get the knack of actually making it last out. You need more of the solution in the center of the cluster, of course, because it's a bigger seam. And towards the end, it's actually a much thinner, a thinner seam. Right, just a few down there, a little bit left over, down through the middle. There we go. And that is all there is to it. Okay, they've been treated. They're gonna get covered in sticky oxalic. It'll kill off the mites. Hopefully it uh, won't harm the bees, but they'll be just nice there. Didn't take very long tuck them up they're nice and warm no problem at all didn't disturb them in the least and there we are well treated for oxalic acid okay there's one thing i didn't mention which is pretty important 
and that is make sure that your treatment, your solution, is at ordinary living room temperature, about 20 degrees centigrade. Don't put the cold solution onto the bees, they just won't like it. Keep it indoors the day before, it'll be just right.